the largest suspension in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha occurred this year in winter session. Total 146 out of 788 member of parliament has been suspended from both the house of parliament. Hello everyone, I am Sanjeev Kumar, faculty of polity at Yosin IES. Today, I bring another hot topic, suspension of member of parliament. As you know, the largest suspension in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha occurred this year in winter session. Total 146 out of 788 member of parliament has been suspended from both the house of parliament. So what are the reasons for the suspension? What are the different rules of procedure of conduct business in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha? How presiding officer of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha suspend and for how long the members of parliament can be suspended? Is there provision for revocation of suspension within parliament at any point of time? All such things we are going to discuss in detail. Further, after completing this topic, we will also go for recent bill with respect to appointment, service condition and tenure of election commission and chief election commissioner in India. So first, suspension of member of parliament in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Why this suspension has become so frequent? We have noticed more than 71 incident in last five years with respect to suspension. Means if we look before 2010 or before 2014, after 2014, then there is exponential increase within the suspension of members of parliament. These members of parliament has been suspended for remaining winter session that already accomplished within Lok Sabha by presiding officer, a speaker of Lok Sabha and within Rajya Sabha by vice president of India or presiding officer of Rajya Sabha. So what are different rules and procedure for conduct of business? Let's first look for Lok Sabha. So, Rule 373, 374 plus 374, all these provisions are associated with rules of procedure of conduct business in Lok Sabha. While Rule 245, Rule 246 are associated with Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business in Rajya Sabha. I will explain each and every rule here. So, Rule 340, uh, 373. This Rule 373 provides authority to presiding officer, that is the Speaker of Lok Sabha. If any member of parliament disrupting the proceeding of Lok Sabha, disrupting the conduct of business of Lok Sabha, then the presiding officer or a speaker of Lok Sabha can ask a member to leave the house. Means leave the Lok Sabha for a smooth conduction of business of Lok Sabha. Because ultimately it is the responsibility and accountability of presiding officers to ensure a smooth functioning of business of conduct in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha respectively. If members are doing unruly behavior, if they are frequently continuously disrupting the proceeding of Lok Sabha means not allowing other members to speak, to pass motion or to debate, discuss which is the main business of legislative house if there is frequent persistent disruption if there is persistence disruption
and Lok Sabha, then as per rule 374, a speaker of Lok Sabha can suspend a member of parliament or member of Lok Sabha from remaining session. From remaining session. Now for this procedure, a speaker of Lok Sabha need to read aloud the name of member of parliament then such name with a motion need to be passed by leader of Lok Sabha and then if motion supported by majority of members in Lok Sabha that definitely belongs to government of India so such motion can be passed and members of parliament can be suspended for entire remaining session but with respect to their revocation of suspension anytime if residing officer or house want revocation of suspension or opposition member unruly members disruptive members request to presiding officers that they will not do any disruption and forthcoming business of Lok Sabha then in such case presiding officer may consider their proposal then a subsequent motion should be passed for revocation of suspension then at any point of time the suspension can be revoked now this is a special rule 374 a that was added added in rule of book of Lok Sabha in 2001 means here this is some additional power if there is severe disruption and unruly behavior if there is severe disruption and unruly behavior then presiding officer or a speaker of Lok Sabha can suspend a member of Lok Sabha for five days or remaining entire session of the Lok Sabha this rule does not belong to Rajya Sabha it does not belong to Rajya Sabha that's why here there is no subsequent rule and procedure for Rajya Sabha. It was added as per rule of book of Lok Sabha in 2001. Further, in future, it can also be added in Rajya Sabha. Whatever the provision existed for rule of procedure and conduct business 373 for leaving the house means presiding officer can ask a member who is disrupting the proceeding of house to leave the house the same provision also existed in Rajya Sabha and you go through the suspension uh, motion as per rule 256 if you listen the speech of our vice president Dhankar then he emphasized that from the very starting, from the very beginning of session on 14th December onwards, the members or honorable members of the house start slogan continuously did action, so placard and raise several concerns which did not allow the house to conduct its business despite multiple requests by presiding officer by chairman of Rajya Sabha the members did not listen did not obey the directions of the presiding officer or constitutional post holder it provided authority for presiding officer of Rajya Sabha 
to speak aloud name of members of rajya sabha which was further processed with a motion which was initiated by pius goel and rajya sabha when motion was passed the chairman of rajya sabha put for voting called the members of rajya sabha to say yes who favored the motion or say noes who were against the motion so motion was passed with immediate effect most of the members of opposition party who were showing disruptive or continuous persistent disruption within the house were suspended for remaining session of the house this provision not existed at present within rajya sabha now implications what are the implications if members are suspended how it impact then members of parliament who are suspended cannot enter into lok sabha or rajya sabha with respect to their chamber and attend any of the committee meeting there are several parliamentary committee as permanent or temporary so they lose their right to attend any parliamentary proceeding or committee meeting suspended member are not eligible to give notice for discussion or submission means they cannot put forward their proposal for participation in the discussion for raising any kind of matter of public importance or any question with respect to business of the house they lose their right to get reply of a question if they want to ask about question with respect to breach in parliamentary security ya security of lok sabha particularly then they lose all such right because they are not at present temporary member of the house although they are member yet they do not have right what a member of parliament has right to participate they will not be eligible to give notice discussion submission etc so it impacted in almost all the way so member of parliament become very similar to the members of outside society who work as a social activist who want to brought attention of the government you have noticed that the suspended member after their suspension raise the protest and sit at jantar mantar so they did not allow the smooth conduction of business they were adamant over the demand of a statement must be made by home minister amit sa with respect to breach in the lok sabha security on 13th december i hope you are well aware about incident which occurred on 13th december in lok sabha so 13th december 2001 we notice parliamentary attack parliamentary attack by terrorist government later on made responsible or alleged laskari taiba jaisi mohammad for plant attack over the parliament in 2001 in which around 9 people security personnel and one gardener died in the incident but they suit all the five terrorists who entered into the parliament so on similar day on 13th december same day in 2023 now not outsider but insider citizens who were not uh, having the criminal background entered through visiting or visitor gallery within the parliament and they jump into the lok sabha and use canister they have in their hand 
they spread colorful smoke to raise the protest against unemployment and associated problem of inflation etc within the current government so this incident in breach of parliamentary security breach in security of lok sabha particularly unite almost all india bloc or opposition member who become adamant to seek a statement from amit sir while government was cooperating that these opposition people or member should leave their adamant demand particularly from amit sir to seek the response from government side any minister or any responsible person whom government who can be considered by the government as suitable person to give befit reply can respond within the lok sabha or rajya sabha but the opposition member did not listen although just before starting of this session in all parliamentary meeting or all political party meeting it was emphasized that no member should carry play card which should be considered as very much unruly behavior or disruptive behavior in the house no member is allowed to shout slogan members should not should not stand from their seat and move to well of the house move towards podium of the speaker or climb on towards the podium chair or staff members which surround or which sit around the speaker so such incident happened and it happens multiple times it occurred on 14th of december it further continued on 15th of december so somewhere ruling party was forced or presiding officer was forced to suspend some of the members even next day this situation created more ruckus in the parliament means all opposition members generally did not listen the instructions made by the presiding officer that found to be fault towards the opposition party but towards ruling party as well here ruling party rather than giving justification rather than accepting the request of the opposition parties rather than taking suitable action although some of the action has been taken but more action required because it is very sensitive matter one of the safest place in india is considered as the parliament building if any common man entered into the parliament and uh, spray smoke from the canisters although which was not poisonous but it could have been poisonous so it is a great concern for security of the parliament but it does not provide right for opposition members to politicize this matter and waste the time energy or very precious hours of business of lok sabha or rajya sabha so they protest here and they have lost all the right now government decided to close winter session one day before the scheduled one but uh, this is not the way how most of the efficient democracy of the world are functioning if uh, so many members will be expelled from the house will be suspended from the house it is somewhere reflecting the inadequate presence of members or different sections voice within the parliament so if uh, different criminal procedure bill or various bills near about 18 bills 
in this session uh, parliament has passed one member mahua moitra already expelled from the house by this government after investigation of ethics committee so in this session if government uh, pass some of the bills without uh, having adequate presence of the opposition then such bill may not be as effective as they should be further there was not adequate debate discussion or uh, adequate presence of members within the parliament so such bill you can consider passed from one side without any kind of opposition which uh, raise certain concern associated with them but anyhow government after suspending these members ensure control over conduct of business within lok sabha and rajya sabha and uh, also held that uh, most of the time now has been utilized effectively and some of the bills seems to be crucial uh, were passed in lok sabha and rajya sabha one of the bill was chief election commissioner and other election commissioner appointment conditions of service term of office bill 2023 so this bill associated with appointment with service condition of chief election commissioner and different election commissioner which replaced already existed election commissioner condition of service of election commissioner transaction of business act 1991 now what is inside this bill we will go through look at the election commission of india so first let's know about election commission as per provision of article 324 of the constitution there should be election commission of india this election commission of india has responsibility to conduct the election for members of lok sabha rajya sabha members of parliament members of state legislative or state legislative council state legislative assembly and state legislative council further the election of president and vice president this is the responsibility for conducting timely election of election commission of india timely conduction election of members of parliament members of state legislature president and vice president further you may raise question about the election of members of panchayats and municipality so it is the responsibility or authority under the state election commissioner rather than national election commissioner so this is a constitutional body permanent constitutional body and one of the important heavy bulky elephant body within our constitution which has significant authority responsibility even during election time period it is the supreme authority means it can control regulate the behavior of political party various candidate it can take several actions with respect to free and fair elections means to ensure free and fair elections it has tremendous power which nobody can intervene even court may not intervene in the conduction of election or ensuring free and fair elections now appointment chief election commissioner and different other election commissioner what are the provisions what were a while provisions which uh, formed by constituent assembly or what supreme court suggest in march 2023 what government propose in august 
and finally pass very recently in the sambo few days back around 3 days back lok sabha has passed it initially it was proposed in rajya sabha so we will go through it now legislative procedure technically there is no provision for appointment of election commissioner chief election commissioner and different other election commissioner in india under article 324 sub clause 2 it is mentioned that chief election commissioner and different other election commissioner now it is multi member body earlier it was single member body uh, it has one chief election commissioner and two other election commissioner who assist chief election commissioner in uh conduction of election and related business but all almost have similar power authority uh allowances salary and various other powers functions so as per article 324 sub clause 2 it is mentioned that chief election commissioner and different other election commissioner should be appointed by president of india subject to law of the parliament this subject to law of the parliament means parliament has never made before this act before this bill parliament never tried to make a law for appointment of chief election commissioner and different election commissioner then how they were being appointed so far this is the old process an old process president used to appoint chief election commissioner and other election commissioners on the advice of government on the advice of government but this was challenged in march 2023 it was challenged within the supreme court that since president work on aid and advice of council of minister and council of minister means government used to suggest suitable person or favorable person to ruling party as election commissioner or chief election commissioner so it is highly possible that these people if favored by the ruling party in their appointment as election commissioner and chief chief election commissioner so up to certain extent it is very obvious that the election commissioner may favor the ruling party in election so although election commissioner of india seems to be very fair very honorable or diligent authority so far no such allegation with respect to huge corruption misuse of authority power election commissioner role seems to be very much admirable so far but still the opposition party or party particularly who lose the elections they several times raise the concern with respect to evm machines that they have been uh hacked or manipulated to give favor to ruling party or whenever election commissioner take the action against particular member particular person or candidate in the election with respect to breach in code of conduct of election commission then generally such members frequently blame election commissioner to favor the ruling party so that's why supreme court of india intervene in this in march 2023 and ask the government to make a law or provisions for appointment of chief election commissioner and various other election commissioner by its five judge verdict five judge bench verdict supreme court for transition mode for immediate provisions form committee or interim committee by the time government 
make a permanent solution for appointment of chief election commissioner and different election commissioner so supreme court bench held that a committee comprising of prime minister of india leader of opposition in lok sabha although since 2014 this post is vacant but still adhir ranjan choudhury in lok sabha work just like leader of opposition in nominal form not technical or official form plus cgi so this was interim proposal from supreme court of india now government tried in august 2023 government tried to bring a law but as government brought and introduced this bill this received huge criticism the huge criticism because somewhere government to align service conditions of election commissioner and various other election commissioners chief election commissioner and various other election commissioner government align their service condition as similar to cabinet secretary cabinet secretary while their status is very equal in ashwal existing provision their procedure for removal salary allowances various other privileges are very much equal to judges of the supreme court so ruling party receive huge criticism that it is downgrading the service condition of very important body or constitutional body election commissioner and chief election commissioner to cabinet secretary from judges of supreme court judges of supreme court have more authority power salary allowances and various other facilities in comparison to the secretary post so government uh, not able to proceed this bill within the monsoon session monsoon session was ended without passing of this bill on 12th december government initiated this bill in rajya sabha and uh, for appointment form a new provision committee comprising of prime minister of india leader of opposition cabinet minister although this committee is not yet named but search and selection committee will decide the name of this committee which consists of prime minister of india leader of opposition and cabinet minister who have authority this cabinet minister will be nominated by pm will be nominated by pm by prime minister of india so is still ruling party have two person means one is cabinet minister nominated by prime minister another is leader of opposition that somewhere favors the ruling party and there is huge criticism by opposition member of this bill that cgi has been replaced by cabinet minister nominated by prime minister of india it seems to be very much unbalanced committee unjustified committee but this bill has been passed from both the house of parliament and likely to be implemented soon so this will be the new panel new committee having authority to appoint chief election commissioner and different other election commissioners one is prime minister of india another is cabinet minister appointed by or nominated by prime minister chief justice of india 
has been replaced by this cabinet minister no place for chief justice of india so even common men sometimes raise the concerns that a uh, chief justice considered as very neutral person and having very high obligations if were part of this committee then committee seems to be more balanced in comparison to this current proposal and this is leader of opposition in lok sabha nominally not technically and officially now what are the various service conditions for which this bill is proposed various service conditions first cabinet secretary versus supreme court judge so now government has modified their service condition and uh, clarified that their service conditions are no more equivalent to cabinet secretary but equivalent to supreme court judge means they have their status similar to judge of the supreme court selection criteria government within this bill made the provisions that a person who is working at post of secretary within government of india should be considered as very much suitable so far generally the senior is officer or mostly or almost all chief election commissioner election commissioner appointed as senior cabinet secretary secretary ya civil servant is officers so a person who hold the post of secretary level within government of india can be eligible for appointment as election commissioner and chief election commissioner what will be the selection procedure it is committee consisting of prime minister of india leader of opposition and a cabinet minister nominated by prime minister of india then terms and tenure continue term and tenure as the same as equivalent to judge of supreme court means till 65 years or 6 years whichever is earlier if person is appointed as chief election commissioner at the age of 62 so he will serve only for 3 years if a person will be appointed at the age of 50 years then he can serve for maximum 6 years but government has not barred election chief election commissioner and election commissioner to work in different other post of government of india after their retirement they can work removal procedure similar to judge of supreme court similar to judge of supreme court that is very very complex means here for removing a judge of supreme court you need a motion to be passed from parliament with two third majority first it can be initiated within parliament by support of a specific number of members like 50 members in rajya sabha 100 members in lok sabha then charges should be investigated based on misbehavior based on incapacity the judge of supreme court can be removed if committee found guilty then the motion can be adopted within the parliament it require two third majority within the parliament if it is passed then uh by assent president of india can remove such judge but so far no judge of the supreme court has been removed
so the removal procedure is very tough further two election commissioner can be removed on advice of chief election commissioner and chief election commissioner can be removed on similar ground as judge of the supreme court so that's all for today thanks for watching and further we will meet till then bye bye take care see you soon Thank you.